Hoo hoo everybody. Today I want to introduce you to book bingo. Like the regular bingo, you've got a bingo table. You can find many different bingo tables for book bingo on your favorite search engine. There are bingo tables for different topics and themes like lesbian book bingo or adult book bingo or Harry Potter fan fiction book bingo or fantasy book bingo and basically it's a grid of reading prompts. The most book bingos have a grid of five times five reading prompts and there are things like a book um, released this year or a certain genre like Chitlit or from an author whose name begins with a B. So you can be really creative in creating your board. You can play it alone just use it as a reading prompt to select your next few reads or you can read it with friends in a competitive way or in a non-competitive way. The goal of the game is to complete one row or one column of books. Sometimes they count the two directional five thingy connections as well. The easy way to play book bingo is that you just choose your favorite row or column and complete it. The more advanced way to play book bingo is with the help of a random number generator. You can find one with your favorite search engine again and uh, it's really easy. When I googled it I didn't have to click on any links, the generator appeared and I just had to adjust the max number to 25 because yeah, the most common grid is 5 by 5 books. Or you can, uh, if you don't want to count that much, you can adjust the max number to 5 and Do it two times, so one time for the row, one time for the column. If you play it with several peoples, that's the more fairer game style because it brings an element of randomness in it, so it doesn't have to be the one who has the most time, the most time reading wins. Um, because he or she can be unlucky with their random number generators and have to read the double amount of books than the others to get bingos. So I believe it's the more fun way to play. But if you just use it uh, to get over reading slump and think, oh, good, I haven't read many fantasy books in the last uh, time, let's select a book bingo and uh, do some prompts in it. It can be a great way to introduce yourself to new genres as well. The reason I make this video is because I made a book bingo for web fiction and told people about and they were, oh, oh, what's book bingo? <laughs> And honestly, I was a bit shocked how few people knew about it. But nonetheless, it's fun. So if you want to get introduced to the fantastical world of web fiction, try out my book bingo. I'd love you to comment on this video and tell me about your favorite uh, book bingos you've ever played or now that you know that there are book bingos, tell me about some book bingos you would try to attempt. Bye bye.